Hello world, this is the first video in my Quant Connect playlist where I'll be building my own algorithmic trading bot using Python. Um, I did some research on YouTube and just around the internet and I wasn't very satisfied with the resources uh, available so I want to create my own step-by-step -step guide on my own trading bot algorithm. But first, welcome to the 140th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So we'll start off here on Quant Connect. Um, well, you'll want to sign up for free. And so it's just basic information and then they'll send you an email confirmation. So um, then when you log in, it'll look like this. All right. So this is what it looks like. Uh, you won't have this first project, but what you'll have is this create new algorithm. And so um, that's what we'll do. And now you can use this, um, this builder mode and use the pre-existing um, modules that they have uh, based off of the free. So I just use the free one. Um, so we could add a module here if we wanted to. So as you see here, there's Alpha, Universe. Let me move this. Alpha, Universe, Portfolio, Execution, Risk. And then you can go to the category. You can add your own universe, your Alpha, and you can add the portfolio. But we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to exit builder mode. And it says, are you sure? Because you can't restart it. And then it kind of gives you this um, boiler template uh, code, this Python code right here. And so, um, so this is kind of your starting off point. So I'll go to the one that I created. So I'm going to delete this, but yours will look like that. And so I'm going to go to my first project. So I renamed the class to my first project. Uh, leave QC algorithm in there because we're going to import algorithms in future videos. And then in the initialize, now this is um, pre-made uh, object oriented program. So follow their documentation. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, set the start date. So self dot set start date. Uh, this is going to start in November 21st, 2020. So that's the year, month, date. And then you need to set the cash, and that's how much cash your strategy starts off with. So in my case, that's 100,000, so self.setCash. And this is on the initialize function. Then we're going to set an end date, which is May 1st, 2021, because I want to see how this strategy does. So 2021, May 1st. Uh, this is not in your uh, Boilermade template, so you'll have to add that. Then the self.spy, so self.add equity. Um, so spy is an SMP index fund. I put the resolution as daily because that's, you know, this isn't the real um, strategy we're going to use. This is just a start. So daily is fine, but maybe to the minute is more appropriate for whatever model we make in the future. Ignore this set universe selection uh, for now. Then you have a function called on data, and that's the data that your algorithm is going to use. So um, it has some pre-made uh, multi-line comments in here. But all we do is say, if not self.portfolio.invested, so we don't have a real portfolio, then I'm going to set the holdings, so self.set holdings to spy, and we're going to execute one trade. So this is the start of our strategy. So what we did was we called our class first project. We have not passed it an algorithm yet. We initialized it, passed itself of course, self dot set start date. Then we set our cash, which was 100,000. We set the end date, which was May 1st, 2021. We added an equity called spy and we want the resolution daily. Then in this function on data, the data that we're going to pass is that if not self.portfolio.invested, so since we have not created a real portfolio, 
Then I'm going to set the holdings, self.set holdings, and spy, and we're going to do one trade. So then we build, just like an IDE, you'll have a console down here, and it says that the building was successfully, um, this is all green. Then we're going to back test. So um, let's close this console. So as you can see, since we're a free tier, um, it's going to have a 20 second delay on the back test. So you can't do 100 back tests. Then once it's done, assuming we have no errors, it's going to request a back test. And this uses the quant, um, quant connects strategy. And there we go. So basically, we started off with 100,000 here. And then we, uh, you can see these are the candlesticks right here on the days that SPY went up. And from the beginning, the start date that we had um, to now, uh, or I'm sorry, May 1st, we had a 17.69% return, which if you go to Yahoo Charts and you type in SPY with those same dates, you'll confirm that. And what it does is it tells you um, all the overview on how well your strategy performed. So we did one trade, right? You saw that from self.set holdings. Our win rate is 0% because we only did one trade and we haven't sold yet. And so, um, and so what you can do is look at these orders right here, and it simulated an order in November 21st, 2020, right when the market opened, I imagine, because there's no zeros. And we filled 280 to, uh, we bought $100,000 worth of SPY. And this back tested that strategy for us. So basically, we just bought and hold. So not that exciting. Um, this creative blue dogfish, that's the server you just back tested it on. They have funny, uh, probably randomized names. So we can close that. And that's it. So we just ran our very first strategy, air quotes, um, on buying one um, order of SPY on this date. And then ended it, but we didn't sell it, so we can have sold it. Um, but we just ended the date of the research. So from this date to this date, we gained 17% on our spy call. So that is the introduction to Quant Connect. And so in the future video, we're going to add some of the other stuff that you saw in the Canvas Builder, like adding a universe selection. Um, maybe an alpha, a risk, things of that nature, and we'll just build it step by step. Uh, if you've seen other tutorials, you know, they just throw a lot at you, and I wanted to build something step by step. So please like this uh, video if you enjoy this step by step um, process. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in watching me build this algorithm algorithmic trading bot and or watch me build my own digital assistant named Shane. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.